Hey everyone, Paul Stevens from LunchHourWeb.com here. Today I'm going to be showing you a cool tool called Buffer. It's going to help you update tweets and other social media through a schedule without losing that personal touch. Stick around and we'll get started. Alright, to get started we're going to jump over to a website called Buffer. I'm just going to search for this on Google, but I'll leave a link in the video description below. You can also check it out on the website, lunchhourweb.com. We'll leave a link for it over there as well. But Buffer is a, as they say, a smarter way to share on social media. It's going to save you time by scheduling tweets or posts or updates on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and LinkedIn. As you know, as you've been watching my video series, I've only started focusing on Twitter for now, but that may change, especially if I can use some tool like this, I may branch out into these other social media platforms as well. There's a lot more to learn about Buffer, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot more to learn about Buffer if you look at their website, you can look at their products, pricing, and so on. It is free for an individual for one account on each platform and you can schedule up to 10 posts per day. That's gonna work perfect for me. I don't really wanna send any more than 10 posts every day. That's gonna be a lot for anybody who's following my social media account. Also, um, I don't need more than one Twitter account, don't need any more than one Facebook account, and so on. If you have multiple accounts, look into their paid plans. They are pretty, they are pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm gonna sign up for free here. And I'm going to create an account. I'm not going to create it with Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. I'm going to instead create it with my uh, email address. So Paul at lunchhourweb.com. And we're, so you'll see we're logged in. So next I'm going to log into my social media account. I'm going to start with Twitter. And it's going to ask for auth Buffer to authorize my account. I did forget that uh, there is an app out there as well. So if you look up this, there is a smartphone app you can download and it'll help you use this service as well. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and type in my email, I'm sorry, my password on Twitter and get logged in and then I'll be right back okay guys I entered my password here and one thing I forgot to mention I was gonna click authorize app but I just took a minute to read the screen and um, it actually brought me up to twitter.com so I'm not actually giving my Twitter password to buffer I am just logging in to Twitter authorizing buffer to use Twitter to tweet on my behalf so you'll see it says this application, meaning Buffer, will be able to read tweets from my timeline, see who I follow and people who follow me, update your profile, so I'll be able to change my uh, username, not my username, I'll be able to change my description about my Twitter profile, and be able to post tweets for me. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to post tweets. It will not be able to see my direct messages. So I have any direct messages going back and forth between people. It will not be able to see that and it will not be able to see my Twitter password. That's great, I can always, going to Twitter settings, I can always turn off this app at any time as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and authorize the app. Great. Let's go ahead and not save my password. All right. So now it is, uh, let's go ahead. It should have brought me back to Buffer, but let's go ahead and authorize app again. There we go, now we're back to Buffer. And I'm not going to add a second social media account right now. I'm just going to stick with Twitter. So I'll go ahead and skip this. And we're going to get post scheduled at the right times of day. I am Chicago Central Time Zone, that is Chicago America Time Zone, AM, PM. So we're going to go to the next step. And we can help discover the best time. So this is the option question is given here. I can set what times of day I want Buffer to schedule posts for me, or I can allow it to set optimal times. I'm gonna choose this optimal times. What it's gonna do is it's gonna go back and read about the last 100 or so Twitter messages that I have posted. 
and see which one of those have gotten the most interaction. It's going to keep doing that. So as time goes on, it's going to find the best times of day. Hey, my followers, the people who follow me on Twitter, tend to interact with me more at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to know to post a, send a tweet at that time. If it sends a tweet at 5 o'clock in the morning and I get absolutely nobody seeing it, it knows that that's not a good time. And it's going to take my best times based on my history. It's also going to choose some random times throughout the day as well, just to test out new times and see if they work better. So I'm going to do that, find my optimal times. And I'm going to say number of times to post each day. For now, let's leave it at 5. Uh, you can go up to 10, 16 times per day. It says number 5. It left at 5. I can change this. All right. My five optimal posting times are at around 11.57 a.m. The start of my lunch hour. That's great. 3.28 p.m., 9.11. It just found some different times. Found my engagement ranks best right around between 9.30 and noon. That's kind of neat. All right, I can make changes if I want, or I can use uh, schedule manually. I'm going to leave this OK for now and continue. And we can see how many people are clicking on my posts. So we can go ahead and find out who is, uh, whenever I post something, who's following through and seeing that information. This is great for a sales tool. You know who your most uh, obvious clients are. So I'm going to go ahead and track clicks on my posts. That's for metrics. We'll look at that later. And we're ready. We're ready. And it's saying, hey, follow us on Twitter for awesome social media life hacking tips. I'm going to go ahead and do that and go to my dashboard. Oh, yeah, it says. All right. So it looks like it's going to give us a little special promotional item if we start right away. Have a week on the awesome plan. That's going to allow us to connect up to 10 social media accounts. I don't have 10 yet. Schedule 100 posts per social account. I don't know if I'm going to post that far ahead. 10 per day seems plenty for me. I can get up in the morning, just think of 10 uh, things I want to tweet about throughout the day and let that happen. And manage everything with a social media calendar. They, they've added seven days of credit to my account. Uh, I'll, I'm going to say no thanks right now because I don't want to sign up for the awesome plan. But hey. Later time, I may want to do that. All right, so now what you'll notice is we are brought up to our dashboard. So it has your accounts over here. I can connect other accounts, Instagram, Facebook. I can also add up to um, uh, Google Plus, LinkedIn. I thought there was an in yeah, Instagram over here. I may do that later as well. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Um, download links to the App Store or the Google Play Store. Again, you can just look that up. I'm going to be downloading that after this video as well and, and trying some posts from there. I have a queue. And what this is going to allow me to do is uh, post anything. Just posted my first tweet using hashtag buffer. And I wonder if it's at buffer there we go thanks for the awesome tool all right so well it's going to know it's going to keep track of your character limit over here it's going to allow you to add a photo or video and we can then add it to queue if you click the drop down you can share it next it means it's going to be the next item that you share you can share it right now. It's going to post to Twitter right away. Or you can schedule the post manually. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my queue. And it says, awesome, you just buffered your first tweet. It will be sent today at 3.28 p.m. Want to tweak your tweeting times? Head to the Schedule tab and choose when things are sent. And I can change schedule. Or I say, great, 3.28 p.m. Sounds great. And you'll notice I can add another one, say, um, just finished making a video, let's say hashtag video, on how to streamline, automate your Twitter. Is it Twitter posts or Twitter tweets? Does that sound so? 
I'm going to say post. Twitter tweet sounds a little redundant there. And I can add to queue. And if I add that next, it's going to go in place of that first tweet in my queue. I can share now, or I can just add to queue, which means it's going to be added after my original tweet. So let's go back to the queue. See, it starts at 3.28 p.m. The next one's uh, 9.11 p.m. this afternoon. I can edit, delete, uh, shuffle, which I assume just mixes those around in random order. I can go to my calendar tab as well. And obviously, I need to have the awesome plan for that, so I'm not going to worry about that. Over here on For Review, uh, you can collaborate with your team. If you have multiple team members posting stuff, you can review tweets and, and other social media updates. Again, I don't have a team. not going to be worried about that for now. And Content Inbox. Curate your content inbox on the Awesome plan. So again, you're going to have to upgrade to Awesome. You can view multiple feeds. But what this looks like to me is you can have RSS feeds and it's going to put them all in here and you can quickly just tweet out or add to your buffer different articles and stuff that come across your RSS feed. That sounds like a really cool thing. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but hey, I might at some point in the future. Over here on the analytics is going to uh, bring up which posts that have gone through buffer have been most recent, most popular, least possible popular, and all po posts. Excuse me. And none of that's come in here yet. I may have a recap video here, maybe in a week or two weeks or in a month, if you guys want, and I can show you some of these analytics more, and we can look at um, some of that more in detail. Over here on my schedule tab, I can choose when I want things to schedule. So this is when the buffer said these are my optimal times for posting. So I'll leave them as they are for now. I believe in the awesome plan you can make that change per day. And then lastly over here there are settings. There's a link shortener. As you know Twitter uh, limits your number of characters you can add in a, in a post. Although it does not seem to take into account website addresses for that. So I'm not worried about that. You can do a team members, empty your queue, remove stuff, and so on. So, awesome. That's that's the Buffer app in a nutshell. As I plan to use it, I want you to know that I plan to use this for sharing social media or content that I've already created on social media, meaning YouTube videos I've already created, blog posts I've already created, and um, I don't any changes to my website that I want to make people aware of. What, as you know. It doesn't make sense to create a video like I'm doing right now, tweet it once and be done. You know, as time goes on, I'm going to have new followers on Twitter. I'm going to be interacting with different people. And they may not see a post that I put two weeks ago or even two hours ago. So it's great to, to post stuff more than once because you may find other people who are interested in that topic who didn't see it the first time. I'm going to use it purely for that reason. So 10 posts per day is going to be plenty. The individual comments like, hey, uh, just saw something cool. I wanted to share this with everybody. That I'm going to continue doing manually through, uh, through Twitter directly. So I don't need to put that in a buffer. Say, hey, just had an awesome lunch at XYZ restaurant. I'm not going to wait and put that in a buffer and post it at 9 o'clock at night. No, I'm going to post that right then. So the personal part of social media, I'm still going to be highly involved with. Just automating, sharing the content that I've already created is how I plan on using this. And the awesome thing is, you know, if someone replies or comments or shares or retweets, excuse me, any of these buffered posts, I'm going to get notified right away anyway uh, through the Twitter app and I can reply. So I can still have that personal connection with anybody who is following me on Twitter. All right, guys, so that's it for today. And like I said, maybe after a week or two weeks or a month, I may do a review video on the analytics portion if you guys want. Just let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, take care, everyone. Hope you have an awesome day. I'll talk to you next time. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the information helpful and useful for whatever it is you're doing on the web. If you liked it, 
please subscribe by clicking the icon above. Otherwise, you can leave comments, suggestions down below if you have any, and I will make sure to answer. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.